Stephen mentioned it felt like you guys really didn't get into what you wanted to do or plan to do offensively. Did you feel like something was missing there, or were there things that they took you guys out of? No, it was us. We just didn't have our pop and, and our pace like we, we needed to have um, for whatever reason. So shake it off, watch the film, and be better for Game 7. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Jen, this is twofold. I mean, I know you guys had it down to five pretty late. Um, in your mind, what was it that sparked that 14 nothing run uh, when you guys had it down to five? No, it's a couple, couple you know, uh, shots, a couple questionable calls here and there. And, um, you know, you got, you got ugly fast. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, James, you just touched on this a little bit, but Kevin said that it seems like every time you guys went on a run tonight, they responded with, with one of their own. Do you look at that as just the energy you guys exerted to, to get to that, you know, two-possession game or so for them to get? Yeah, we just, we turned the ball over. We didn't, you know, we didn't, you know, we, we ran the ball um, at a high clip. We gave them um, too many transition um, you know, opportunities and whatnot. So it's things that we can control that we got to be better in for game seven. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, James. Um, in that game seven, Steve said this is why we wanted to get the number two seed, so we had this home court advantage in game seven. What do you think of that assessment, and what kind of confidence could that give you for that game? That's exactly uh, correct. Um, you know, with everything we've dealt and, and been through, uh, you know, we have the second seed for this particular reason. And, um, you know, we just got to go out there and, and hoop. At home, one game. Mark Berman with the New York Post. Hey, James. Uh, it seemed, you know, you hit, you know, a lot more shots tonight. Is that an optimistic thing for you going into game seven? Do you feel some of that rust is off despite the lack of mobility? It's not even about rust. It's about being able to move. So, and I think as they go, you know, day by day, I... Continue to get better, you know. Last the last game, game five was the first time that I even, you know, did any any movement or anything like that since I got hurt. So um, tonight was no different, you know. So I just it's just I'm out there to to do whatever it takes to win, and I got to be better on both ends of the ball, which I will be in game seven. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, I apologize if anybody's asked. Uh, I'm joining uh, a little bit late, but uh, but just Steve Steve observed that you looked like you were in much better condition to play tonight compared to Game Five. Do you have any sense of whether or not it's possible to make any more progress over these next uh, 48 hours? That's the plan. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, James, I, I know everyone has said that as it pertains to Joe, you know, every time he shoots, he feel like it's going to go in. But when he's had a, a string of cold games or anything that you can say or that anybody can say to him to kind of maybe help him snap out of it, or do you just leave him to himself and trust that he can snap out of it when it matters most? Um, I, I mean, me personally, I try to give him the confidence every single day, every time I talk to him. Yesterday, today, shooting around, told him he's the best shooter in the world. You know, and just having the ultimate confidence. And not just Joe, like our entire team. Go out there and play with the ultimate confidence. You know, for our shooters, every shot that you shoot, you know it's going in. Um, for our screeners and everybody that has a, a particular role in our team, go out there and do it with confidence because, you know, that's, that's going to help our team ultimately.